All right, let's try to find the intercepts for this guy. Go ahead and write down what you know. What do you know about the x-intercept? Y equals zero. Y equals zero. What do you know about the y-intercept? X equals zero. The x-coordinate is going to be zero. Now, easy. For the x-intercept, you say that y is zero. So I'm going to cover that up. That means x equals what? Negative 4. We can look at that, and hopefully we can just take care of that in our heads. That's negative 4. For the y-intercept, if x is 0, this guy is gone. I see 4y equals 20, which means y equals what? Is this enough for me to get my graph? Yes. Right. X-intercepts go on the x-axis, so here's negative 4, 0. Y-intercepts go on the y-axis, so 0, 5 is up here. Now, if we try to get the slope, we can kind of get that from the graph here. How far are we going up and how far are we going over? Up 5 over 4. If I try to do that again, up 5, I'm going to be off the graph here. So that's not good. So let's reverse that. Let's go down 5 and to the left, 1, 2, 3, and 4. These three points are really kind of spaced pretty far apart. So let's try to um, make our lives a little bit better. Let's do the midpoint. If I'm the midpoint, that's going to be the point in between two points. It gives you more points, and it improves your accuracy. We said here this was a change of 5. Okay, What's half of 5? Is 2 and a half. Now, the run was 4. What's half of 4? 2. All right, so go up 2 and a half and over 2. There's a point. Two and a half, two. Two and a half and over two, like that. You can reverse that, you can go down two and a half, over two, down two and a half, over two. So it's really easy to get a lot of extra points using that midpoint. If you can understand that your slope, you know, what your slope is, the rise to run, you're just basically cutting that in half. Instead of going up the full five and the full four, cut it in half. Half of five is two and a half, half of four is two. So that's how I get the rest of those points. And then we just connect the dots, connect the points. Questions about how we got this guy? Let's take this guy and let's solve him for y, just so that, we, so that everybody's clear about what we're doing. If I take negative 5x plus 4y equals 20 and I solve this for y, what's the first step? You move x to the other side. So move the x to the other side, that gives me what? Positive 5x. Positive 5x, that's already a positive 20. And then do what? And you divide everything by 4. Divide everything by 4. So y by itself is equal to 5 fourths x plus 5. So according to my slope intercept form, what's my slope? 5 fourths. 5 fourths. And what's the y intercept? Positive 5. Zero, 0 5. five. Okay. That's the same thing I already have for my y intercept. My slope is 5 fourths. Is that positive or negative? positive, so that means from left to right, what is my graph doing? What is my line doing? Increasing. It's increasing. Positive is increasing, right? And no matter what two points you pick here, the ratio of rise to run is always going to be the same. So we look at this guy as rise to run. So if I would went from this point right here, to that point, my slope is my rise to run. How much is my rise from this point to this point? How many units do I go up? From here to here. I went up 10. How far to the right did I go? 18. Positive. So what's 10 over 8? Positive over positive is positive. How do you reduce 10 over 8? Five fourths. 
right? And that's the same thing I got here for my slope. So everything is connected. Everything matches up. And just so that you guys are believers, there's what the computer tells me the graph is. Now, you guys need to get in the habit of solving for y, because if you want to graph on your graphing calculator, you have to solve for y. That's the format that it expects from you.